guys it's been a very long time since i entered the kitchen to do any form of cooking thanks to amazing friend who have been doing all of my cookings for me but just recently i was in this local market to get some ingredients i needed for a soup i had in mind to prepare plus I needed to get some other things I'll be needing in my kitchen. Before leaving the house, I sat down to write a list of everything I needed to buy in the market. Then I got dressed, slid some cash into my back pocket, and sped off to the market immediately. So, I resolved to buy only the things I needed to prepare my soup. I bought fish, pepper, crayfish, among so many other things. Leaving the market without buying a lot of things in my list was a huge disappointment for me. In my mind, I was expected to return home like this guy, carrying multiple bags filled with foodstuffs. But instead, this happened. Hey guys, I'm in my street now, walking back from the market. I want to buy things for my food. You won't believe how expensive things are in the market. And now I'm not alone in this. So, if you've been in the market to buy foodstuffs before, only to meet higher prices, share your experience in the comment section. But really, why is food so expensive? I took this question personal and decided to research about it. Of course, I found some interesting reasons for high food prices, the first being the effect of climate change. We always say we can't blame nature, but this time, nature is actually messing around with our food prices. From shifting weather patterns that threaten food production to rising sea levels that increases the risk of catastrophic flooding. The impacts of climate change are global in scope and enormous in scale. So, the little food that farmers are able to salvage after the struggle, they sell at higher prices to cover their cost. To solve this problem requires the collective effort of every one of us. It turns out that we can't blame nature after all. That's because climate change is caused by human activities that is threatening the way we live and the future of our planet. We must take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. By addressing climate change, we can build a sustainable world for everyone and produce more quantities of food. The more food that we can produce, the cheaper food will become in the market. It's just economics. Also, the cost of farm inputs is really outrageous. A lot of raw materials like feeds, fertilizers and animal feeds go into the production of food. Because these farm inputs are so expensive, Farmers tend to spend so much to produce so little. If only these raw materials can become cheaper and easily accessible, I believe it's going to cause a significant reduction in food prices. Let's not forget the continuous increase in oil prices. High oil prices typically raise shipping costs and the cost of certain farm inputs. Yes, that's right. Certain farm inputs like herbicides and fertilizers are produced using the byproducts of oil. Also, food gets transported over long distances and the amount spent of fuel adds up to the unit price of food items. Hence, a decrease in oil prices will lead to a decrease in the cost of farm inputs as well as the cost of food distribution. Talking about food distribution, there is still the problem of too many collection points on the highway. Actually, these collection points are supposed to be vehicle checkpoints. Instead, they collect money from drivers in exchange for a free pass. Or should I say, a quick pass. By the time these drivers get to their final destination, almost half of their proceeds have been distributed. Hence, transport operators who move goods to the market tend to increase their service charge, which in turn affects food prices. There are many other problems like bad roads, government policies, and disease outbreaks that contribute to high food prices. But we cannot dwell on problems alone. We need lasting solutions. With the rapid growth of technology, some of these solutions are already available. Farmers practicing precision agriculture can accurately deliver the right amount of water and nutrients that a plant needs to its root nodes. Also, vertical farming and soilless farming is on the rise, meaning the rate of climate change has nothing on these closed systems. The best we can do is to support farmers to ensure that they are able to produce process, store and distribute large quantities of food. You can help by sharing this message with your friends and family. Together, let's advocate for zero hunger and eliminate malnutrition resulting from high food prices.